Okay. Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So here we are with the cash management techniques. This is the first cash management technique, which is a direct uh, cash mapping technique, which is very simple and straightforward, where we do what we, uh, Hamid Hussain has come up, where we do what? Uh, we have a, some kind of an index, then tags. So we divide that address bits into the, uh, into the tag, into the, into the, uh, into the indexes, and uh, then we come to know whether whatever we are have put in the cache is it there or not. So addressing mechanism should have two things in it. One, in which cache block will this address go from the main memory? If we have main memory and we have the cache, from which block of cache can go into which block of sorry, which block of main memory will go into the which block of cache? We should know that. And secondly, because in a direct mapping, we have uh, one block of cache in it can go multiple blocks of the RAM of the main memory. So that means we have to also figure out the block I'm asking, is it there or not? Because I told you we have a chair, it's for faculty. Okay, I understood this chair is for faculty. This is the first thing. We need to know where the faculty will sit. And that means that is the question from which block of main memory will go into the which block of cache? This is the one question. Second question is now in this chair, this is one chair only because we have uh, we have considered only one block. Okay, we are not taking into the account of spatial spatial uh, that like we call a reference of locality and spatial uh, locality reference where we can have a uh, where we know that if I'm asking of this instruction, the next these instructions will be accessed. So we are not taking benefit of that. We will do that uh, today by adding up more blocks in the cache. We'll discuss that, but first. I'm saying I have understood that this chair is for the faculty. I have understood this first question that which block of RAM will go into which block of cache. But second question is that now in this chair, there could be Junaid sir, there could be Shafat sir, there could be Nofia ma'am, there could be anybody. So if you're asking for Junaid sir, is Jun yes, Junaid sir, if at all you wanna find, you can find it only this chair. I know the faculty will go only in this chair. But is now Junaid sir there or some Nofia ma'am there, because there could be anybody, because there's only one chair for all the faculty, right? So same way, we have a one block. Okay, this is this is the diagram we had discussed the last time. So this red one, the zero, this eight, this 12, all can go into the zero. So we have first understood that yes, zero, four, eight, 16, they will go into the zeroth block. This is the chair concept that the chair is reserved for these, the first chair. Okay, but now if I'm asking for four, okay, I'm asking for four, but there can easily be two in it. Because zero, two, four, eight, 12, and so on, they can all be here. Say for example, here, the data from the eight is here and I'm asking for zero. If I'm asking for a zero, I know it has to be in the zero block. Okay, I'm asking for four, I know it or eight or 12 or 16 or whatever, they all has to be in the zero block. Right? We understood that. But now who is there? The tag will tell us. The tag bits, the, the firstly, the index bits while telling us that which block it has to be in, but we're not guaranteed it is there. Okay? Like I told you, the chair, the, which, uh, which chair faculty has to be in, we understood this is the chair faculty has to be in, but we cannot guarantee the, the faculty you are trying to access will be on the chair at that moment of time. Okay? Because chair is here, right? So there could be a cash miss, okay? So then we said how we figure it out that which, which the, this indexing, we can use a mod or we can use the those addressing bits like uh, the low, lower address bits and higher address bits, okay? The lower address bits zero, zero, and here's also zero, zero. The lower address bits zero, zero, it will tell us which block in a cache. That means in other words, cone C chair, Okay, and all that, do you understand? I have to also take screenshots today. I will take screenshot because I have to send it to the principal's office. FN and print screen. Okay, one second, just give me a sec. Let me put it in the paint so that I can. Where is the paint? Here's the paint, control V. Okay. 
put it here. Now, uh, the lower bits will tell me the which block of the cache and the upper bits will tell us the, whether that, that person, that uh, faculty is there or not, or that data is there or not. Is the, this will tell us the tag. The tag will be the upper bits. We had discussed that last time, right? Just for revision, I'm saying these, these things. Okay, we had done that. This is a tag. So the lower bits, upper two bits, okay? They will go into the tag like this is zero one. So that will go into the tag, okay? And the lower two bits will tell us which block of the memory. And then there is the data. So we have a data, we have a tag, and we have the index. Now what does index tell? Index bolega ki aapki ram ram mein jo block hai, wo kis wale cache block mein jayega, okay? That is the lower two bits. Upper two bits will tell us ki kya wohi banda wahan pe hai, kyunki mein kya raha ki zero, two, four, eight, in my koi bhi ja sakta hai zero mein. Ab isme koon wala hai? Kya isme zero wala beta hai, two wala beta hai, four wala beta hai, eight wala beta hai? Kyunki block to ek hi hai na? So, wo koon batayega hume tag. Okay? So, Harris will tell us. What, will, what is the difference between tag and this? Yes, Harris. Tag or index mein kya farak hai? The tag will tell us uh, which um, data is present there actually and the block will tell us index, which, in which index. block that uh, memory will go index will tell us which, which block will so in our analog analogy index will tell us which chair is for whom student ki chair kon si hai faculty ki chair kon si hai lekin ab us chair pe kon student baitha hai ya us faculty wali chair pe kon faculty baitha hai ye tag batai theek hai ji clear Okay, we had done actually th these things, so we should move on. Then we said this is the if you have 32-bit address, we got the index. Index tell us which block in a cache and tag is the rest of the bits in the address or the tag. Okay, the rest of say agar 32 bit address, hai, 10 bits index ke liye, 22 bits kis ke liye? tag ke liye. So tag batayega ki wo banda wahan pe hai ke nahi. Isliye, isliye wo tag yahan pe store hoga. Thik hai na? वो टैग जो आपके जो डेटा का टैग होगा वो यहां पे स्टोर होगा और वो मैच करना चाहिए इस टैग के साथ तब उसी से यानी कि यहां पे अगर जुनैद सर है तो यहां पर टैग में जुनैद सर यहां पर भी जुनैद सर अगर वो मैच कर गया तो जुनैद सर ही है अगर यहां से आप जुनैद सर ढूंढ रहे हो लेकिन यहां पे नोफिया मैम लिखा है ठीक है तो उसका मतलब है कि वो बंदा वहां पे नहीं है ठीक है ना और वैलिड भी होना चाहिए वैलिड बिट भी इसको वन आनी चाहिए अब जब आएगी वैलिड शुड बी वैलिड आल्सो तो हमारा हिट है वरना वो मिस हो जाएगा वो मिस हिट नहीं हो जाएगा मिस हो जाएगा तो कैश मिस में क्या होगा अब बताओ कि कैश मिस हो रहा है अब अब बताओ कि कैश में भी थोड़ा सा टाइम लग रहा है ना ये ये करने में ये जो चीज करना है आपको इंडेक्सिंग करना है उसको मैच करना है वगैरह वगैरह इसमें भी थोड़ा सा टाइम लगता है बट इट इज नॉट इट इज नॉट दैट बिग टाइम जस्ट अ 2 नैनो सेकंड्स इट्स नॉट अ बिग टाइम बट अगर आपको मेन मेमोरी से चीजों को लाना पड़े और कैश हम हटा दें ठीक है मेन मेमोरी चीजों को लाना पड़े it will be a bit slower even though main memories are very fast but not that fast as cache so it will be very slower then so that is why uh, th this scenario is much better than accessing the ram directly okay okay so how will you load now the how will you load because now if there is a cache miss so you have to load from the main memory something into that the block into the ram so what will you do i mean sorry main memory into the cache okay ab cache mein lana hai na wo agar miss ho gaya yani ki miss jab cache miss ho gaya that means it's not there in the in the kya bolte hai isko jaise ki aapke paas chair maine kaha ye faculty ke liye hai wahan pe junaid sir baitha tha lekin you want nofia ma'am lekin chair to ek hi hai na to isliye aapko replace karne ka padega junaid sir from the by the nofia ma'am you have to get nofia ma'am onto the chair same way is if you have something in a cache and you have missed that, okay, which, so you, you are accessing something which is not in a cache, so you have to get it from the main memory into the cache. So then you will do what? You will update this, you will first the lower is key bits, hongi, okay, the lower k bits of the address, wo batayengi hume kya? index, yeah. it will tell us which cache block, okay, jo last ki, last ki jo hongi, m minus k bits, jo hongi, they, that will tell us the tag ki kaun sa banda hai wo kaun sa isme kaun data humne rakha theek hai na and the data will be put into the data part 
ठीक है यानी कि इस कैश में से अगर मेरे पास यहाँ पे ये है ये कैश है इस कैश के किस ब्लॉक में इस कैश के किस ब्लॉक में आपका डेटा ये जो रैम सलाह जाएगा वो वो आपकी लोअर बिट्स बताएंगी जो उसका लोअर बिट्स होंगी वो बताएंगी किस वाले में जाएगा ठीक है ना और उसकी जो अपर बिट्स होंगी वो उसका टैग काम करेंगे वो टैग में डालेंगे हम और डेटा पार्ट में उसका डेटा हम डालेंगे ठीक है जैसे एक्सेस किया था वैसे ही वापस हम उसका अपलोड करेंगे इसमें इस किसी क्वेश्चन है Does anyone have questions in it? Sahil ab aagya. Sajid Gulzar, you should open up your cam. Anyone having a questions in it? You can you can ask. ये तो वही है ना जो जैसे हमने पढ़ा वही वापस रिवर्स. यानी कि अगर हमें कैश से रैम से डेटा लाना है कैश में डालना है. So हम देखेंगे कि उस डेटे का लोअर बिट्स क्या है. वो उसका इंडेक्स वो बताएगी कि किस ब्लॉक में जाएगा. कि वो किस ब्लॉक में आप अगर आप मिस हो रहा है ना कैश मिस हो रहा है तो वो कहां पर है रैम के अंदर अब रैम से लाना है हमें मिस हो गया ना कैश मिस हो गया तो उस वो अब किस ब्लॉक में डालूंगा मैं कैश के उसकी लोअर बिट्स जो होंगी वो बताएंगे मैं कौन कौन सा ब्लॉक कैश का वो जाएगा ठीक है किस कैश के ब्लॉक में जाएगा और उसकी जो अपर बिट्स होंगी वो उसका टैग बनेगा वो टैग में डालेंगे हम वो कैश के टैग पार्ट में वो डालना है वो टैग जो लोअर बिट्स है कि अगर 22 बिट्स में जो यहाँ पे क्या लिखा है अगर यहाँ पे फॉर एग्जांपल एनालॉजी के लिए जुनैद सर और जुनैद सर यहाँ पे लिखना है कि जो भी टैग है वो टैग में जाएगा और जो उस ब्लॉक का एड डेटा है वो डेटा पार्ट में जाएगा ठीक है ना बिल्कुल सिंपल तो अगर कैश फिल है जगह नहीं है फिर से वही लीज यूज जो नहीं जो हम उसमें कर रहे थे मेमोरी मैनेजमेंट में ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम में अगर अब कैश फुल है तो फिर क्या करोगे ठीक है ना तो उसमें रिसेंटली यूज्ड को हम किल करेंगे सो एनी वन देयर व्हिच इज रिसेंटली यूज्ड वी विल अपडेट दैट वी विल नॉट कीप दैट बट इट विल स्टिल गिव्स लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स बिकॉज़ वी हैव ओनली वन ब्लॉक ऑफ कैश ओके सो दिस वाज अ बाइट एड्रेसेबल व्हिच इज अ 16 बिट एड्रेस वी हैड इट वाज डायरेक्ट मैपड बिकॉज़ वी हैव दिस इंडेक्सिंग एंड ऑल ओके एंड वी हैड अ ओनली वन बाइट इन अ ब्लॉक we have only one block so question is how many blocks does the cache hold because now the cache memory technology has increased we can we can have a cheaper cache and bigger cache okay so we can afford to have a more cache so in this scenario we this is not a good idea to have uh, only one block of uh, cache okay so if if there is a more cache available now that too we at a cheaper rate and that too now faster more faster so we should have a more cache so that means more cache means we can have a more blocks in, in a cache not just a single block okay this is about the you will read it out your off your own hit ho gaya miss ho gaya to kitna overall time ho gaya you will read off your own i will send it the, now we got a spatial locality spatial locality ओके स्पेशल लोकेलिटी मीन सेज बिकॉज अगर हम इस इंस्ट्रक्शन में काम करते हैं इट इज यू नो इम्पेरेटिव दैट द नेक्स्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन जो इसके बाद होगी ना उस उसके ऊपर काम होने वाला है लेकिन जो हमारा अभी हमने जो देखा कि हम हमारा जो हमने देखा कि हमारे पास जो ये देखिए ये जो देखिए जो हमारी कैश है और जो हमारी रैम है इसमें से ये ब्लॉक फॉर एग्जाम्पल जाएगा इसमें ठीक है ना अब जो हमारी स्पेशल लोकेलिटी वो बता रही है कि हालांकि इस ब्लॉक में बहुत सारे इंस्ट्रक्शन एक ही नहीं होगी बहुत सारे इंस्ट्रक्शन होंगे तो वो बता रही है कि उसके बाद ये वाला ही होने वाला है मैक्सिमम टाइम्स आफ्टर दिस इट विल बी दिस आफ्टर दिस दिस विल बी दिस अनलेस देयर इज नो फंक्शन कॉल्स एंड ऑल बट स्टिल द स्पेशल लोकेलिटी सेज की जो नियर बाय इंस्ट्रक्शन है वही होने वाली है आपको ठीक है ना तो हम कहते हैं कि आपने ये वाला डाला इसमें ठीक है अब आप इसमें डाल सकते हो और दूसरा जो नीचे होगा जैसे जीरो वाला था अब अब फोर वाला या टू वाला या एट वाला इसमें जा सकता है सो so, जो नेबर इसका है वो थोड़ा दूर पड़ गया ठीक है वो वो नहीं जा सकता इसमें है ना सो दैट मींस कि अगर ये प्रोसेस इस पर काम कर रही थी तो उसके बाद उसको ये वाला एक्सेस करना पड़ा सो so उसमें पेज फॉल्ट आ जाएगा सो इट डजेंट मेक अस वी आर नॉट taken uh, the benefit of special locality which we know that the instruction if you are executing this the nearby instructions are going to be executed after this this is this is the just simple principle of program, uh, programming 
Now for that, what we do now to do that is we increase the block size because I told you the cache is becoming cheaper and we can afford to have a bigger cache. When we have a bigger cache, we can accommodate more blocks into our cache. Now what we do is we increase it with a double block. Before we had only one block, right? Here, if you see, we had only one block for one block of memory, okay? But now we have the couple of blocks for, one second, where is it? Here. Yeah. Now we got two blocks for the two blocks of memory. In a, in, we, this one address space will have two blocks now. So zero is not for the one block now, zero is for two blocks. So that means if you have a 16 bit, 16 bytes, 16 blocks, sorry, if you have 16 blocks in my main memory, we consider it as only eight because we think we consider the two blocks, zero one, as a one block that will go here into this zero one. Now this two, three will go into the next and three, four, four, five, sorry, will go into the next and six, seven will go into the next and then we'll repeat the same. Then eight, nine will come back to this first block. So we are having, this is again a direct mapping. This is not associative mapping. This is again direct mapping, but I am increasing the block size now. You understand? I can have a two block, three block, four block, eight block, and so on. The more I increase the RAM, there is a more chance of cache hit rather than miss. So my cache miss will come. So you can see here, I have two blocks. They will accommodate these two. उसके बाद दो जो उसके बाद टू एंड थ्री ब्लॉक है वो जाएंगे हमारे इसमें पहले पहले में होता था जीरो जाता था पहले में फिर वन जाता था दूसरे में एंड सो वन लेकिन अब मैं दो ब्लॉक तो स्पेशियल लोकेलिटी में उसका मैं ले रहा हूं फायदा क्यों क्योंकि मुझे पता है कि इंस्ट्रक्शन अगर इस ब्लॉक की होने वाली थी इसके बाद इस ब्लॉक की होने वाली नेक्स्ट ब्लॉक की होने वाली तो दे आर ऑल टूगेदर हियर इसमें यह है कि अगर आपको इंस्ट्रक्शन फ्रॉम जीरो फॉर एग्जाम्पल कर रहे हो आप लेकिन आपको पूरा ब्लॉक उठा के इसमें डालना है ठीक है वी आर गेटिंग अगर जीरो तो आपका लोकेशन है उसकी इंस्ट्रक्शन आप अभी एक्सेस कर रहे हो सो इट विल बी लाइक जीरो एंड वन बोथ विल बी इन दिस या आप वन की इंस्ट्रक्शन करते हो आपको लेनी है दोनों जीरो वन दोनों जाएंगे इसमें रेड रेड में दोनों जाएंगे ठीक है ना समझ में आ रही है सो so इससे क्या होगा कि आपकी यू आर हैविंग द मोर फिजा नजीर एंड ओबैद ओपन अप योर कैम्प यू आर हैविंग मोर यू नो मोर स्पेस इन कैश नो अब हमें सिर्फ इतना देखना कि एड्रेसिंग कैसे करेंगे है ना तो ये तो कोई मसला ही नहीं है अगर कैश बढ़ गई तो मैं अब कह दूं भाई दो ब्लॉक नहीं दो नहीं मुझे अब चार ब्लॉक दे दो कैश के दैट्स हैव अ फोर ब्लॉक ऑफ कैश व्हिच विल इन अ वन रो नाउ विल हैव अ वन रो विल हैव अ फोर ब्लॉक्स फ्रॉम द रैम रैम में जो मेरे था 1 2 3 4 ये चार जाएंगे कैश के एक रो में फिर उसके बाद फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट ये जाएंगे कैश के दूसरे रूम में एंड सो ऑन गेटिंग समझ आ रहा है मुझे ऐसा क्यों लग रहा है कि आप उनको समझ ही नहीं रहा आ रहा है कुछ आज यस सर समझ आ रहा है आ रहा है गुड यस सर नाइस जब तक इंटरेक्शन नहीं होगी ना तब तक पता नहीं चलता बेसिकली सो इफ यू डोंट इंटरेक्ट सो क्योंकि आज थोड़ी सी कम इंटरेक्शन हो रही है शायद साहिल आना चाहिए कम इंटरेक्शन सो यू ऑल गाइज शुड इंटरेक्ट इवन यू से यस सर ओनली ठीक है ना ओके सर ओनली लेकिन उससे पता चलता है कि ना समझ आ चुकी हूं बिकॉज़ व्हाट आई एम सेइंग इज बिकॉज़ अगर आपको समझ नहीं आता आई विल टीच अगेन आई एम नॉट सेइंग लाइक दैट आई विल टीच 20 टाइम्स 100 आई हैव लॉट ऑफ पेशेंस आई विल टीच सेम थिंग 100 टाइम्स अनलेस यू से कि मैंने ज्यादा ना समझ आई विल ट्राई टू नो आई विल ट्राई टू डू डिफरेंट एग्जांपल्स बट आई विल मेक ट्राई मेक श्योर दैट यू अंडरस्टैंड बट यू गाइस हैव टू इंटरेक्ट विद मी तंजीला समझ आ रहा है बेटा तंजीला फारूक समझ आ रहा है बेटा Yes, अगर sir. समझ आएगा नहीं और फिजा नजीर जस्ट यू कैन काउंट ऑन मी नो यू कैन ट्रस्ट मी ऑन दिस यू कैन टेल मी हंड्रेड टाइम्स मैटर फॉर मी बिकॉज आई लव टू टीच आई लव टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड एंड आई गेट हैप्पीनेस इफ यू गेट अ स्माइल एंड यू से मुझे समझ आ गया आफ्टर आई डू लॉट ऑफ हार्ड वर्क इट गिव्स मी एक अजीब सी हैप्पीनेस आ जाती है मेरे अंदर सो इट इज इट्स फॉर मी टू बिकॉज आई गेट हैप्पी इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड इफ यू गेट समथिंग फ्रॉम मी and that gives me happiness being a teacher this is a characteristic of teacher you know and if you don't understand and if you don't even though i uh, deliver a lecture you don't understand it makes me unhappy this is simple as it is this is the characteristic of me 
So I would like to work harder for you guys as much as possible till you get everything. Okay. So now question is that by some we addressing as a karing. Okay, we have two blocks. 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 Because we are not having associative or set associative mapping. Because associative में मैंने कहा कि हर एक फिर ये indexing indexing कुछ नहीं करनी. Associative में क्या होगा? Remember मैं फिर से उसको पढ़ेंगे हम कल अच्छे से. लेकिन associative आप याद रखें. Associative mapping मतलब ये होता है कि हाँ आपको indexing indexing कुछ नहीं करने. Direct circuit होगा वो आपको ले जाएगा किधर? यानी कि सारा का सारा ही जो ये है tag वो सारे का सारा ही ये होगा address होगा. सारा address होगा कि पूरा जो आपने यहाँ पे जो आपने 16 बिट का अगर ये है या 4 बिट का जितने का बिट का एड्रेस है इसमें आपने इंडेक्स किया आधा टैग किया वो कुछ नहीं वो सारा एक सर्किट लगेगा वो कंपैरेटर कंपैरेटर लगेगा वो देखेगा कि वहाँ पे है या नहीं डायरेक्ट इट विल बी वेरी फास्ट बट इट विल बी वेरी कॉस्टली इट हैज इट्स ओन वगैरह वगैरह उससे हमें पता चलता है कि कहाँ पे हैं। Associative में it will be very fast because there is a circuit which gets us directly there. We can we can access that. ठीक है? Mohammad Haris is smiling, but you can tell us to so that we can also smile with you. कुनी जोन में कैसा सुन? Anyways, so हमने यहाँ पे दो byte blocks यानी कि दो byte यानी कि eight bit वाला ये eight bit वाला ये total sixteen bits. So two byte block. Byte means eight bits, है ना? So दो byte वाला block रखा हमने। पहले तो हमारे पास एक byte वाला block था। ताकि हम क्यों कर रहे हैं? ताकि cache hits हमें ज़्यादा आए, cache misses ना हो। So twelve and thirteen, if you see twelve and thirteen, these two, they will go into the second block. Okay, they will go into the second block. As you could see the color code also. And fourteen and fifteen, they will go into the last block, third block. But how I will calculate now that? Okay, how to calculate this thing? There are two ways of calculation. One is the arithmetic, and one is the that binary. Okay, जैसे हमने पिछली बार किया. So arithmetic में simply हम divide करेंगे, because here we have a how many byte chunks we have is a two raised power n, because here n n was only one. Okay, here n is only one. Why n is one? Because we have only two blocks. So two raised power n that is equal to two raised power one that is two. So that is why we have only two. Two byte blocks. Okay, so n is n is now one right now. So we could have n two, where we had two raised power two four byte blocks like this. We have four byte blocks. Now right now n is one, so we have a one uh, byte. So this is my main memory, and I want to see where is my, for example, thirteen or fourteen or something. Okay, so where is twelve and thirteen will go because I need to know. Where each block of this RAM can go into which block of the cache? Okay. Now we are taking two two. Okay. So we do it. We do it this way. So like it, it is. It's saying um, we have twelve and thirteen. They will all go into to block address six because their block address is six now. Okay. If you say ten and eleven, block address is five. So we have a block address. The block address is having two blocks of the RAM. This is my block address. So these both of these will get zero address. Both of these will get one address. Both of these get two address. Both of these will get three address. So this is my block address. This is my byte address. Each byte of a RAM that is zero byte one, two, three, four. But now zero and one they constitute one block. So I have divided my RAM into blocks. Okay, so where zero block byte and one byte will constitute the zero block. If if I had uh, n as two, so then I will have a two raised power two. That is four blocks. That means then zero one two three four. They will all go into the zero block, right? Right now I am having only two blocks as a uh, two bytes as a one block. So two byte block. Okay. This will be clear all here. So this is the block address zero to the both of them. 
and they go to the this block right so now if we do the mod operation to this say for example we do mod operation to 0 mod 4 then it is 0 ka agar main 4 se divide karunga what is the remainder 4 zero is 0 remainder is 0 so that means they have to go 0 has to go here into the zero block if i have 1 where will 1 go how will i calculate where will 1 go i will say 1 modulus 4 so that's 1 divided by 4 that is uh, I'm, I'm sorry i'm doing wrong here the, the one is here this one is the one so that means if i have a zero or one my block address is zero i have to divide zero percent four so again four zero zero it has to go to zero now two and three for two and three i will do more of this one because block address is one for both of them so i will say one percent four so that is four uh, one co four say divide four zero zero remainder one so it will go into the one block okay agar isi se aapke agar have 14 and 15 where will 4 or 12 or what there is 12 and 13 where will 12 and 13 go because 12 and 13 both have block address of six so you will do six mod four for both of them so when you do six co four say divide karenge, four one equals to four remainder is two so they both will go into the second block so this 12 and 13 both will go into the second block here, right? The question is which will go in this block, which will go in this block and so on. We are less than one minute. We'll talk about it. We'll continue this maybe tomorrow because it's getting time is over. So we got a byte address. This is 12 and 13. And we have to see what, what are their block addresses. The, the block, block is six. Okay, as you could see here, 12 and 13, but block is six, right? So you have to do mod operation to the six. You either you do arithmetic or you do the other way. Like with the bits, we have a four bit address and then we see this is block address, this is the tag and this is the actual data and so on. We'll see that later. So the, both of them has the block address of six. Okay, so now if I say where it will go, it will go to the second block. I know why, because six mod four, that is four one four, mod, remainder is two so modulus of is two so it is it has to go into the second block but then question is 12 will go here and 13 will go here